everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tac Comics. What's up, buddies? Uh, I came across my vinyl records, and I wanted to show them off. Or, you know, not show them off, but just show them off to you guys. You guys can see them play on words there. Um, and I also found the album that I uh, spray-painted gold and put my band's logo on it to make it look like we had a gold record. Um, and I also wanted to show these. I came across these. These, these belong to my dad. Um, my dad was a uh, retired uh, Air Force and uh, I want to say he was also um, he was in another branch I can't think of it right now I feel so bad but yeah I'm gonna put these in a shadow box sometime or another and with his uh, fire watch uh, bands that he would have on his arm you know on his uniform so I'm gonna put those in a shadow box um, yeah and here's this uh, album that I spray painted gold that I put the liquid uh, sticker on and it was so funny, a lot of people thought that we actually had an album that went gold. So it was pretty funny. It's amazing what you could do <laughs> with uh, stickers and spray paint. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to move this over to the side to show you my albums real quick. Uh, get down here. God, I hope that glare can come off. Yeah, here's uh, Big Bay Band Duke Ellington. That's pretty cool. Cat uh, Stevens. Pretty sweet. And then uh, jazz at the Olympics. It's pretty cool. I miss snowboarding. Uh, the Four Seasons. It's pretty cool. Um, it's got like a bunch of artists on there. Roar Orbison. I love Roar Orbison, man. Bobby Freeman. My mother-in-law knew him. And she also knew Elvis, which was really cool. Uh, and dude, the man. Pure dynamite, James Brown. You know what I'm saying? That's all that needs to be said, man. James Brown's the man. Uh, I don't know who this is. <laughs> but it's songs from Italy. Uh, some of these belong to my dad and my mom. Uh, world of junior samples. Cool. Dude, so look at that dude. He's got moonshine right there. That's awesome. <laughs> Back album cover. It shows him there. Uh, Jonathan Winters. That's cool. Uh, man. Maybe I should close the blinds back there. Or maybe this would be better. Yeah, show the back. Yeah, I haven't tried to play any of these. Uh, Smothers Brothers. Pretty cool. Uh, another Smothers Brothers. Yeah, I, I know I will. Well, <laughs> a lot of these though, man, you can find them at a Goodwill store, which is pretty cool. Got a little brain fart there. Kingston Trio. It's pretty cool. Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. It's pretty cool. Going places. Surfing bongos, I guess. Very surfing rhythms of the new dimensions. That's pretty cool. Uh, I should. I'm gonna hold it like this. There we go. And this is a, first thought this was a Bruce Springsteen album, but it's not. It's a Sly and the Family Stone. It's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm filming with my left hand. Uh, 
that's pretty cool. I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I gotta make sure I'm just down here. For Orbison. It's cool. Uh, no, Thorme. Nice, dude. I realized I had that. Sorry guys. Marilyn Monroe. It's pretty cool. Let's make love. Ooh. Okay, girl. I guess that's from the uh, movie that she did. That's a bad glare. Dang it. I thought opening my blinds would make it a little bit easier. Chariots of Fire. That's pretty cool. You still hear their music in elevators if they even have elevators anymore. <laughs> uh, Walt Disney presents original music from the soundtrack of his True Life Adventures film. That's pretty cool. And uh, all new Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> Bonus poster inside, nice. Who remembers the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Adi. Oh yeah, all about dragons. Puff the Magic Dragon. Bluntzilla, dude. This one's for you, bro. <laughs> I've been watching his channel, uh, Bluntzilla. Uh, I met him uh, in a chat room. That guy is so awesome, dude. He's got some cool videos, great little animation skits that he does too, man. The guy is awesome. And he's funnier than shit, dude. It's a cool. So if you guys haven't checked out Bluntzilla, you guys have to, man. His stuff is so cool. Uh, this is Mozart, Four Flute Quartet. Almost done, guys. Andy Williams, Days of Wine and Roses. Nice. And of course, you know, if you have a if you have a record collection, you gotta have some John Denver, dude. I mean, who doesn't have John Denver? Rocky Mountain Christmas, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Looks like a Ross painting in the background, you know, happy trees. Oh here you go, you open up the inside. That's pretty cool, dude. John Denver and his family. I guess that's what his house looks like. <laughs> I don't know. John Denver's cool, man. I like John Denver. Uh, dude, Bill Cosby, man. I bet he's making some drinks in this one, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, man, that was bad. But now, Bill Cosby's cool. You know what I mean? I don't, when people like this in the spotlight, like let's say Bill Cosby, you know, the stuff that he does outside of his personal life, um, that's the kind of stuff, you know, if he does something wrong, like what he got accused for, you know, I don't have to like that, but I mean, what he's done in his body of work on TV shows, things like that, and his comedy, I can still like that because you know I can I can separate the two. Um, I'm not saying what he what he got busted for is right. No, that is totally wrong. You know, he shouldn't have done what he did. But you know, as a comedian, as an actor, um, you know, as doing the Cosby Show, I can still watch those shows. I can separate the two. You know, I can still like them. So. But yeah, Bill Cosby. I got some Hawaiian stuff here, which is cool, man. Yeah, there's a new Hawaiian band that just came out. They're called, uh, they're known for their love songs and stuff, and they're called uh, Come On, I Wanna Lay Ya. <laughs> I know, that was a bad joke. But hey, man, and I got family from Hawaii, so that's cool. I, I can say that. <laughs> uh, some more stuff, man. That's pretty cool. Chilling on a beach, man. Look at those. That's awesome, man. 
Love Hawaiian music, dude. Perfect stuff to listen to on a hot day. You know what I'm saying? And if you got if you got any Hawaiian albums, man, you definitely have to have you know this man next, dude. Don Ho. Don Ho is the man, dude. I mean, you talk about dirty songs, man. He wrote some dirty songs. <laughs> he's the man, you know. But he's he's mostly known famous for Tiny Bubbles. Let me see if I can show this better. I might uh, glare. Dang it. But either way, yeah, it's just pictures of him up on stage singing. Uh, another Hawaiian album I have. I haven't really played these in a long time. Check out those boys, man. True Hawaiians. Puku shells, man. Uh, Hawaii. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'm a big fan of this next uh, record you're going to see. Um, I, I love this dude. In fact, I got um, a CD that he came out with a while ago. And... Uh, it's cool because uh, the CDs look like old vinyl records. And uh, yeah, man, it's Dean Martin, dude. Freaking love Dean Martin. I mean, that guy, that guy's voice, man. You know, it was, it was easy to see how he got women, dude. You know, him and Frank Sinatra and all that, man. Yeah, Dean Martin. Cha-cha-cha, de more. Yeah. And then uh, next one, dude. I mean, Tom Jones. Can't go wrong with Tom Jones, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a man. What's new, pussycat? You know what I'm saying? Love Tom Jones too, man. And I think this one's the last final record I have. Um, live in Vegas, man. Check him out, dude. Pimping that, pimping that outfit out, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he's a cool cat. Um, the only other album that I have, I'd have to find it. It's a 45, and it was the first album that I really bought, and it was uh, Huey Lewis and the News, and the song was uh, If This Is It. And uh, those are my snowboarding shoes, by the way. And uh, yeah. I